Hello friends, welcome back to another video from Somos Biology. In this video, we are going to talk about the difference between BSc Biotechnology and B.Tech Biotechnology and which is better among BSc Biotechnology and B.Tech Biotechnology. So if you want to know whether B.Tech Biotechnology or BSc Biotechnology is a better career option for you, then watch this video start to the end. All right. So before starting the comparison between BSc Biotechnology and B.Tech Biotechnology and also providing my own opinion, I'm going to share some facts about it. Okay. So basically, you know, first I'll compare them. I'll share the facts regarding BSc Biotechnology and the B.Tech Biotechnology, the difference between the two. Then I'll also tell you my personal opinion and also I'll tell you why I think that. So the first thing is that what is the fundamental difference between these two courses, BSc Biotechnology and B.Tech Biotechnology? BSc Biotechnology is a three years course, B.Tech Biotechnology four years course. So as per the time duration, B.Tech Biotechnology takes more time to complete than BSc Biotechnology. But as per their weightage, are they same? The answer is no. Because if you compare the competitive exam like CSI and NET, the competitive exam for PhD entrance. So in CSI and NET, either you need to be qualified MSc or BTEC. So MSc is of two years, BSc is of three years. So after plus two, it's total five years time taken. And in BTEC, after plus two, only four years time taken. So the weightage of BTEC is almost equal to MSc. So BTEC degree in biotechnology is considered as equivalent to that of the MSc degree of biotechnology. So in reality, the general stream of biotechnology in BSc, MSc take more time compared to the BTEC biotechnology. So in this comparison of timing and weightage, BTEC biotechnology wins. So BTEC biotechnology has one point and the BSc biotechnology has zero points. Now let's move to the second section. The second segment is regarding the amount that you invest while you're preparing for BSc biotechnology or B.Tech Biotechnology. So B.Tech Biotechnology as it's an engineering degree and generally is considered as a part of engineering degree in all the engineering colleges, thus they charge more. Although B.Tech Biotechnology is not at par with the rest of the other engineering degrees that we have. That is the other engineering, mechanical engineering, electronics engineering and all these others, electrical engineering. Biotech engineering is although taught in the same college, same universities, but not at per the level established by the other engineering degrees. But the fees are really high compared to the BSc general stream biotechnology career or genetic general stream biotechnology subject. So BSc biotechnology requires less money to invest. BTech biotechnology requires more money to invest. So in this case, as per the amount of money invested to gather the knowledge, BSc Biotechnology wins, BSc Biotechnology 1 and BTech Biotechnology 0. So after the round 2, we have 1-1 one, one in both BSc Biotechnology and BTech Biotechnology. Now let's move to the third point. The third important point is the return. The investment point is over, that how much we invest to gain that degree. That part is over. And now if we look at the freshers work for both BSc and BTech, there are equal, very equal freshers. Uh, work or salary available. Although BTEC Biotechnology are more industry ready, so they will get more industrial job. And if their colleges places them, they get an edge over the BSc Biotechnology candidates. But their edge is only over the industrial sector job. Because BTEC Biotechnology is more of a practical based work and less of a theory based. While BSc Biotechnology is more focused on theory and less on the practical or industrial aspects. So for industrial sector, BTEC will get advantage, but for research point of view, BSc will be provided with more advantage or more uh, seriousness. But the general fresher salary in India after BSc or MSc Biotechnology and the BTEC Biotechnology is really kind of equivalent. That is 3 lakh to 4 lakh per annum. So it's not that big deal. Although the chance of getting a job is little more for the BTEC Biotechnology in industry compared to the BSc Biotechnology. But if you do MSc, that is one more years extra compared to the BTEC Biotechnology, many recruiters will recruit you 
and particularly those research industries who focus on research the industrial research than the industrial production industries have two different routes to take industrial research and industrial production so in india we more focus on industrial production most of our industries focused on industrial production than industrial research because industrial research requires more money more funding they don't have that okay so r and d division is not that strong for most of the smaller companies big players have good r and d's some of the r and d's are outside of india and if they are in india then they will recruit more bsc or msc candidate particularly msc pass out btech candidate or phd candidates into that compared to the btech candidate they will take btech for the production unit they will take btech for quality control and analyst unit but not for the research unit okay they prefer msc candidate in the research unit so thinking that as per the salary range both are equal so i'll give both one and one so bsc biotechnology two score btech biotechnology two score all right now the fourth and the final rating that i am going to show <clears throat> is regarding the difficulty level of practicing and preparing the subject you know if you are trying to practice bsc biotechnology in that case that's quite easier compared to the btech biotechnology because in btech biotechnology you can go from pcm physics chemistry math and we know biology students fear math so if you fear math then btech biotechnology is not going to be a feasible option for you the only option left will be bsc biotechnology which where you can go from pcb physics chemistry biology from there bsc uh, biotechnology msc biotechnology can go like that and you have extra advantage in this general stream is after the plus 2 you can do integrated msc or after graduation you can do integrated phd where you can get stipend while doing and studying uh, while studying from the first year onwards while in case of btech biotechnology the degree is btech and after that if you want to do higher studies mtech and then you can do phd but after doing mtech if you want to go for phd after doing btech directly you can go for phd for both bsc and btech biotechnology you need to qualify industrial you need to qualify all this national level phd entrance examination so you'll be treated as the same okay so there is no point here all are same but the practice and preparation scheme for a bsc biotechnology is quite easier to that of the btech biotechnology that's why i consider the bsc biotechnology is easy to prepare and practice so here the extra edge is to bsc biotechnology so i'll give the extra edge to bsc biotechnology 1 in this round and btech biotechnology 0 so ultimately at the end we have three points to bsc biotechnology and two points to btech biotechnology now that doesn't mean that btech biotechnology is bad btech biotechnology is very good for those who want to do industrial work direct work under a biotech industry it can be food industry fmcg cosmetics uh, it can be uh, medical sectors diagnostic technique uh, diagnostic industries or agricultural industries in all this place direct work under the industrial sector btech is preferred but if you want to keep your options open want to do integrated phd or research work or if you want to directly go for any other industrial job or research funded job then bsc biotechnology is a better option and the fees for btech biotech is very high compared to bsc biotechnology and the preparation is difficult for btech biotechnology than bsc biotechnology that's why i kept bsc biotechnology little up above than the btech but again which is better depends on what do you want to do with the degree Okay so that's all about the comparison between btech biotechnology and bsc biotechnology i hope this gives you idea regarding the difference and based on this idea you can choose your career wisely if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future thank you bye